Hey guys, I'm Asheville Senior Tech Correspondent Ray Wong, and today we're checking out the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10. In the past, Samsung's released two versions of its flagship phone, but this year we're getting three. The S10e, S10, and S10 Plus. Let's go. Three S10 phones is a lot, but they hit different price points without compromising on features. Let's start with design, because the S10s are gorgeous. They're still made of glass and metal, like previous Samsung phones but the new colors give them an extra luxurious look. Not only are the bezels around the new display narrower, but the screen itself is more advanced. They're the first HDR10 Plus certified phone screens, and they reduce blue light by 42% to prevent eye fatigue. The displays are a sight to behold, and there's no notch. Instead of a notch, the new screens have a round hole in the upper right corner. On the S10e and S10, there's a circle hole for their 10 megapixel selfie cameras. But on the S10 Plus, there's a longer pill-shaped hole for both the 10 megapixel selfie camera and an 8 megapixel camera used only for collecting depth information for improving things like portrait selfies. The S10e has a 5.8 inch display with full HD Plus resolution. Notice how the edges of the display are flat and not curved. The S10 and S10 Plus have 6.1 inch and 6.4 inch displays. Both have sharper wide quad HD Plus resolutions with curved edges. The new displays also have another new trick. There's an in-display fingerprint sensor embedded in them. Other Android phones have similar fingerprint readers, but Samsung's might be the best. Samsung says it's more secure and works with Samsung Pay. Under the hood, the phones are virtually identical. All the S10s are powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 855 chip, and they're really fast as far as I could tell. All three S10 phones come with 128 gigabytes of storage and micro SD card slots for expansion up to 512 gigabytes. The S10e comes in two models, six gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage and eight gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage. The S10 comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage and eight gigabytes of RAM with 512 gigabytes of storage. However, if you want the most insane model, there's only the S10 Plus. The 512 gigabyte S10 Plus has eight gigabytes of RAM and the one terabyte model has 12 gigabytes of RAM, which really seems like overkill. Battery life should be pretty solid on the S10s as well. The S10e has a 3100 milliamp hour capacity. The S10 has a 3400 milliamp hour capacity and the S10 Plus has a 4100 milliamp hour capacity. Like previous Galaxy phones, the S10s support fast charging and fast wireless charging. Samsung says the S10s can wirelessly charge as fast as with a cable. In addition to faster wireless charging, the S10s are also capable of reverse wireless charging. Just like Huawei's Mate 20 Pro, the S10s have a feature called wireless power share, which lets them wirelessly charge another device like an iPhone XS or Samsung's new wireless Galaxy Buds. It's pretty cool and inches us closer towards a cable-free world. The phones are also IP68 water and dust resistant, have headphone jacks, and come with faster Wi-Fi 6 speeds, which are supposed to be 20% faster than the Wi-Fi on the Galaxy S9. All of these improvements and additions make the three S10s even more feature-packed than other phones. But there's more. On the S10 and S10 Plus, there are three cameras on the back. One 12 megapixel regular wide-angle lens, one 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. The S10 has two rear cameras, one 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a second 16 megapixel ultra wide lens. We didn't get to examine the quality of the cameras, but the three cameras are nuts, and I can't wait to see how they compare to the Pixel 3 and iPhone XS's cameras. But the thing most people will be happy to hear is the S10s are competitively priced with the iPhones. The S10e starts at $749, which is the same price as the iPhone XR. The S10 starts at $899, which is less than the iPhone XS. And the S10 Plus starts at $999, which is less than an iPhone XS Max. It's crazy how much has changed for Samsung's Galaxy Android phones in the last 10 years. Samsung's gone from thick and bulky plastic to sleek metal and glass. From big bezels to nearly all screen. From wireless charging to the ability to wirelessly charge other devices. From two gigabytes of storage to one terabyte of storage, etc., and etc. We'll be putting the S10s through its paces soon enough, but from what we've previewed, the phones push mobile innovation forward once again. So that's the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10. They look really promising, but how do they compare to the brand new iPhones? We'll have to find out. 